Pete Thomas from NBC's The Biggest Loser, giving you guys an update on episode number two for season number eight. Now, of course, last week the contestants dropped a great number. They were all doing just excellent, very well. Now, this week we've got the typical week two slowdown because a lot of what happened during week one was water. A lot, but not all. And so Allie comes out and says, you know what? Nobody is going home as long as you all as a group can drop 150 pounds. Bob and Jillian are completely convinced that you can do it. You know, but let's see if the contestants can do it. And just to make sure that the contestants have a little bit of leeway there, a little bit of hedge, what we're going to find out is they're going to have an opportunity to get some pound advantages at the weigh-in. But first, before that, we see Tracy coming back. I call it coming home. Coming back from the hospital, coming home to be with the other contestants there in the house or on the ranch. And so we're all excited about that. And then we go to the California Health and, Health and Longevity Center. Where Chef Stone, he's the chef du jour, I guess is what it is. But Rocco must be on the outs or something. Must have made someone mad. Anyway, Chef Stone has a nutrition a quiz. And if the contestants do a good job, the teams do a good job, they get extra pound advantages at the win. Sure enough, the contestants do a great job. And so they get a, an extra pound advantage, 15 pound advantage there uh, for the nutrition quiz. And then we see other things. The other thing that I liked, especially liked about this particular episode was, this was really, you could say, was the team episode where all the contestants were supposed to work together as a team. Remember I mentioned last year that you'll see certain themes going throughout certain episodes. So this particular theme was the feel good theme episode, all right? And so we see the contestants have to travel along beams over water. I remember during my season, we had a similar challenge. It was much more difficult because we, the guys, had to race the girls. But in this particular challenge, as long as everybody made it along safely, you could take your time. And that's exactly what they did. They got a pound advantage, or actually a 10 pound advantage, but even more importantly, got an opportunity to call home. I can't tell you, people with family, with kids, there's nothing like having an opportunity to call home after being in complete and total seclusion. No internet, no telephones, no newspapers, no magazines, none of that stuff being available to you. And so the contestants are happy about being able to call home and then the last chance workout. So we see Bob and Jillian taking the contestants through intense workouts. Julio, who they say had been slacking, they, they really put it on him that week. And we see Shay break down and begin to talk about, you know, her life and said that some of the weight are really wounds. And so that was really, really a powerful statement that she made. And so you should think about that in your own life. How much of the weight that you have is really because of some wound or some lifestyle or some major event that you've had. And so uh, we see Shay dealing with some of that. And then we go right directly to the scale, to the weigh-in, and we see some great numbers being put up. I'm most amazed, of course, by the big fella. Rudy's dropped over 40. He's right around 400 pounds. He is on a roll. He is on a roll. And we see everybody doing really great. We see Shay dropping around 16 pounds. They are, they're really some great numbers being put up. But more importantly, everybody is safe. They're safe for the week. No one gets voted home. The possibility was that two contestants would go home. But actually, everybody is safe. And so I often think, okay, what are the producers thinking behind the scenes? And I say that this, again, was kind of the feel-good teammates episode of the show. And so they also wanted to show some things. You know, week one, typically, you get a lot of weight, water weight loss. Well, week two, it's no water left. This is pure fat that's coming off. And so, you know, the contestants are really, really they're putting in some serious numbers. And so we expect, continue to expect big things. Dan didn't have a great week. Remember, he's the game player because he knows the game more than anybody else. And so we expect him really to step it up in the, in the upcoming weeks. And a couple others need to step it up or they'll just fly under the radar. And so be aware and look out for that. Next week should be an exciting, exciting episode. One of the worst things you could ever, 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 ever do is get rid of your trainer. You know, think about that. Get rid of your trainer? Oh my goodness. But you know, some of the contestants start feeling themselves. You think you worked out a couple of weeks with Bob and Jillian. You know what you're doing? Oh my goodness. I just can't wait to see Jillian just explode next week. We toned down on the cussing this week from Jillian, which is really good. And anyway, have a great day. I can't wait. I've got some Biggest Loser 9 business to go take care of today, which is really fun. So have a great day. And remember, there's a winner within you.